So, as you know, I've been working on a new video game. Um, I wanted to make a game that is uh, reflective of my experiences um, in the industry in LA. Something that I've been kind of working on for a while now. And uh, so I've been wanting to do some development logs as I uh, go through the process of making this game and, um, you know, kind of documenting each step of the way. So, as we have it, um, I guess I'm ready to make my first devlog for this game. The game, um, I'm still working on the title, but uh, we got a couple options here. Right now we're looking at... Um, Golden Agers. It's uh, the game is a, a simulation game based on um, film production. So basically, the game would take us step by step through the process of producing in the film industry. And you know, we have our title screen here. Obviously, got a couple other concepts, a couple other names. We've got the Golden Agers for the golden age of Hollywood. We got uh, development hell. Um, you know, it's a little, little darker twist, but it could be a good theme for the game. Um, and we also have uh, Movie Studio Simulator Pro XD. Someone told me uh, for naming these kind of sim games Going with a, a basic name like that might actually be the best uh, the best way to go about making this. People might be more receptive to it. I'm not sure about that yet, um, So, but uh, the concept is still in the works. I gave it kind of more futuristic digital vibe for that one. But let's check out the actual first part of the game, what has been accomplished so far. We got our, our protagonist, most likely, or, you know, we'll see. And, um, you know, first step of creating a, a film, or developing a film, you know, we need a good script. So, the first step of the process is we needed a, some kind of a system that would procedurally make log lines for us, so we could sort through those log lines and we got a new script, so let's see what the computer can do. We train the computer here to make log lines for us, so we can pick them and um, decide if it's a movie that we would want to go through with making. And if so, we would then proceed to the next phase of the uh, the process. So here we got uh, Quincy, the gorgeous life of stinky grave digger Quincy Roberts, who inspired the world with comfortable Zevex. Um, you know, that I guess would be the fascinating biopic of uh, a gravedigger who turned to designing ships. Sounds like a fascinating script. Let's see what else they got. Dead Brazil. Poet Ward loves video games. Poet Ward also loves family. Growing up in Brazil is hard, but can, it can also be calm. Alright, I'm not sure I'm feeling that one. Mentally impaired, feckless Talon McDonald. Kaylin McDonald is mentally impaired, feckless, and all around shrunken. Just fired from their job as an assassin in an alien planet, Kaylin McDonald has a lot to learn about house music and is looking in all the wrong places. Oh, this is a comedy. That could be pretty good. So, you know, we can just uh, keep uh, flipping through these log lines. Graphic designers based on the classical Broadway play, mythical graphic designers sing, dance, and make a scene. They confront the old ways of gourmet dining, dining and changing times in India. Prisoner versus urban gardening. We had a, a robot too far. So you know we can just keep making log lines, and eventually we gotta we gotta pick a log line. And so this is this is part one of the devlog. This is what uh, where where I'm at right now in the process. And um, you know I guess the next phase will be. Uh, Performing market research on these log lines, so that'll be devlog too. So make sure you stay tuned. But you know, this is uh, our first initial concept phase of the Golden Agers. Uh, you know, I hope that uh, you find it interesting, and um, I would love to hear about any thoughts anyone might have 
about the project, themes, etc. Signing out. <laughs>